Congratulations to mainstream media. There's a very real chance you're going to win the marketing award for the best free ad campaign for a political party in 2020. All through the pandemic, mainstream media reported it as the Higgs government this and the Higgs government that. And that fed into the Conservatives' campaign strategy about stability and leadership. The irony is, we had stability. 20 seats over here, 20 seats over there, three here, three there, and a couple of empty chairs to be cited sometime in the near future. That stability, the different voices and values in the legislature, took power away from the backroom gang that's controlled New Brunswick politics since the mid-60s. But media, doing what media does, really promoted the Higgs government. It got so bad that on the national newscast the night before the election, Todd Battis, the CTV bureau chief for Atlantic Canada, reported the People's Alliance Party as the Public Alliance Party. They got all of three seconds out of two and a half minutes worth of footage. If you were only paying attention the night before the election and you saw it was the Public Alliance Party, do you think you're going to vote for them? And that's just one example. It's worth note there was no retraction, no correction, no apology. The influence of the media needs to be noted. And our mainstream media handed the election strategy and the branding strategy to the Conservatives on a silver platter. To roll that over into leadership and stability was quite ironic because we had the leadership and we had the stability all through the pandemic. And the minority government was just starting to get its wheels under itself with only 18 months of being in that process and figuring how to make it work. The real issue was one of control. So every time now Premier Higgs said we need stability and we need leadership, what he was really talking about was control. And the media never challenged him on that point and led you to believe it was about stability and leadership. The election narrative was not about minority governments, French English, leadership or stability. It was about control. A minority government took control away from the backroom gang. And if you voted Conservative, then you voted to put that control back in the back room. And now we all have to live with that. So it's on you, Conservative voters, for what's about to happen over the next four years. And you can already see some of that agenda starting to roll out. If power is not kept in check, it is not going to help this province in the long run. And we've lost the ability to keep power in check.